Tony Vima team, BK Barek here. Welcome to this week's video blog. And you know what? This week's video blog, I have a very special guest. A guy that has been in this industry for 22 years, a guy that I've known about for, for the last several years, um, somebody that I've always been really, really impressed with because of what he's been able to create in, uh, in the network marketing industry, a guy by the name of Anthony Powell. Anthony, welcome. Thank you very much. And Anthony, I, I, night, uh, started out at 19 years old. Yep. Joined a company called? Herbalife. And, and they were doing about how much a year? Uh, about 100, 110 million. All right. Kind of like the same spot that we're in last yeah. night. Okay. And then you helped them create what? Well, it was interesting because when I got in, I was 19 years old and... Uh, like, YPR. Here's the originator, YPR. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> 19 years old. Changed and, uh, your life, didn't it? Well, yeah, because I was interning at a, at a pharmaceutical company and I realized that uh, corporate America was definitely not what I wanted to do and uh, nor was it going to serve my goals and dreams. But ironically, what happened was, um, you know, I was interning one day. I went upstairs because I, I, I interned during the day and I worked at this company at night um, to pay the bills. And then also through all that, going to college. Um, one day I walked upstairs and there was this full grown man crying. And I can remember like it was yesterday and I said, I ran to his rescue and I was like, what happened? You know, did you fall? Did you get hurt? He said, after 30 years of working for this one company, uh, right before retirement, they let him go. And he had climbed from distribution, making, you know, six bucks an hour, all the, all the way up to a quarter million to 300,000 a year. And he said, now, I, now here I am, I can't even work two jobs to make what I'm earning here. And uh, so, of course, like any human, I just comforted him and, you know, held the guy for a while and, you know, to, to help him a little bit. But, you know, at 19 years old, that sparked me that, wait a minute, um, you know, the same thing can happen to me. And so that got deep rooted into me at a, at a very early age, had no, no idea that network marketing was the thing. Ironically, someone dropped off an Amway information kit to me one day and I went down to this meeting and I went, what in the heck is this? Uh, I, I had, you know, people were opening doors for people in Cadillacs and all kinds of weird things were going on and they were handing me stale protein bars. And, you know, at 19, I just was like, this isn't a fit for me. And um, um, then one day, um, somebody really got me on a product line that changed my life. And um, what I loved about it was, is something that somebody could consume. Mm -hmm. And because the products changed my life, um, you know, I started getting people on the products, very similar to what's happening, the movement of Verve, right? Mm -hmm. And my first month, um, I moved $5,000 worth of products, you know, just kind of by accident, sampling people. And uh, I ended up earning $1,900 my first month. And um, that blew my mind. And my mentor at the time, he had already made millions in the company that I was with. And so he had already gone to the 80s and parts of the 90s. Um, and really, I had an opportunity to hold on to his coattails. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I said, listen, I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to do whatever you tell me. I'll hold your bags long enough. If you just show me how to do this, I'm teachable. I want it. And um, so I followed him. And by the time I was, you know, my first month, like I said, I earned a little bit over $1,900. By the end of the first year, I was up over 7000 a month. No one in my family made 7000 a month at their jobs. And here I was part time making seven thousand a month. So I fired my boss, and this is really funny. I had a firing my boss party at my job, and um, everyone said, "All oh, these things don't work. You're going to be back, or you're going to be back at a job because these are like this is a cottage industry." And you know um, that kind of pushed me a little bit harder. Second year, ten thousand a month, and then it just you know from there, um, you know. Few... Can I ask what your highest check was? Well. My highest check was well into, the, I, I'll tell you this because uh, I don't want to blow people out of the way, but it was well into the hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. And, um, you know, I, I can't even explain that because, you know, for me... But make, it started at 1900 a month. It started at 1900 right. but you got to understand, for me, I thought 10000 a month was like robbing a bank. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get to ten thousand a month, hypothetically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you you could when you're young, yeah. even when you're older. You know, yeah. a lot of you guys out there, you know the deal. You work your you work your tails off, and you're making three to five thousand a month, and you get paid, you know, taxed forty percent. You're left with not much, right? So then, when you get when you make your first twenty grand, and then you make your first thirty, and then you make your first sixty grand a month, 
and then you make a hundred grand a month and a few hundred thousand a month and you get bonus checks of hundreds of thousands a month and then you end up looking back and you go, wait a minute, I've made millions and millions and millions of dollars in an industry where everyone told me I was going to fail. And here's the thing I got to share with everybody out there. Uh, no one's going to pay your bills but you. You know, and so you got to make a decision whether you want part-time or full-time income. The, the, the four-letter word that separates everybody for some odd reason is work. And uh, that's what I was not scared to do. And I just wanted a better quality of life. And so I fell in love with network marketing. You know, it's funny how when I'm, I'm listening to your story, um, there's always something that happens that is the catalyst yeah. that, that gets you to the next level. And I remember when I w left advertising and I went to work uh, in, in network marketing as distributor and, and a guy by the name of Drew, you know who you are, um, said to me, you'll be back begging for your job in six months. Wow. And those words still ring in my head today. Yep. And I don't know where Drew is, but I ain't begging for nothing. And, and this business, this industry can, can literally change your life. Now, Anthony, okay, the success that you've had over 22 years, um, you, you pick Vima. I, I know our, our entire leadership is saying, what led you to this decision and what are the qualities? I mean, you know, when you're on the inside and you're doing it all the time, sometimes you don't know or notice the, 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 the things that really make an opportunity special. But why don't you share with the, with the team a little bit sure. about why the, you made the decision you made? Well, first of all, you know, there's an old saying, um, people first and product second, or people first and business second. So. You know, I fell in love with you as a as a person. And what, and what, I, I what, love you too. Well, <laughs> not in that not in that way, but you know what I'm talking about. I really I really like your beliefs. I like what you stand for. You know, he's got six kids, um, so obviously you know six very cute kids. Very that's cute it. kids. You know, and and for me, that's what I bought into this industry for is the, is because the founder of the company I came from was heavily active and involved on a day to day basis, and when you lose that and you lose that, that, that passion and the people that are running the company are more geared towards driving the stock, it's no longer, you're not serving people, you're serving analysts and you're serving you know, something else, Martin, which, is, yeah. which is still not a bad thing if, you, if that's what your business model is, but <clears throat> our business model is to take products to the market and serve people and help people get a result. And I just felt like that was lost and you know, I didn't feel like the company was bad, but what I felt was, was that the vision and what we stood for was lost. And that's where you get to a point where you got, like I said earlier, if the shoe doesn't fit, you got to go find one that does. You know, it's, it's funny that my dad, you know, my, my dad's been in this industry. Well, he was in this industry uh, since I was seven years old. And he always taught me early on, back when we uh, started out with, with New Vision, um, he would go th around the floor and he would talk to our customer service agents and he would say, when the phone rings, you pick it up and you be nice to those people because those are our customers yep. and they're the ones that pay the bills. And that customer service philosophy has has permeated throughout this whole company because everybody knows my email address. It's bk at vima.com. If my staff does not make you happy, typically I'm going to get an email that's going to say, can you look into this? And then I will forward it back and I'll say, make these people happy. So they've actually, over the years, they've bypassed me and just make people happy. You know, we call our people customers. Everybody mm -hmm. that is a part of this company, we think of you as a customer. Whether you're a customer that just wants to consume our products. That we got, we got fabulous, innovative products that you can't find anywhere else. Or if you're one of our brand partner customers that that want to promote our products, yep. that's our philosophy towards business. And and I think that's a foundation that that you can build an empire on. That's right. You know the um, <clears throat> you know both of us come from the tablets and the and the shake industry and the and you know you came from New Vision, your other company and. You know, at that time, that was cutting edge. You know, mm -hmm. taking a whole handful well, we of tablets. We went from tablets to capsules. We thought that was cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> well, now what you guys are seeing is that, and you were first to market with this, is liquid nutrition, guys, is what in, in, when you're a network marketer equals retention, mm -hmm. and you don't have a point of failure when you don't when you when you don't have to make anything or when things don't get caught in your throat. And so, I really love the the thought of. You know, one, building the front end of the business, but then number two, having all of your work stick, you know, and so building a back end retention arm, 
having people that are consuming. And at the end of the day, that's where true walk away income was. And what I found out was with the older, you know, breakaway in, you know, old school marketing plans, mm -hmm. you know, they're not really called breakaways, they're called takeaways. Because you build all this volume and they end up taking all your business away from you because no one's volume is helping each other. Mm -hmm. And when you're in binaries, what happens is every vol Teamwork. everyone's volume is helping each other. And if you just go find more people, see, no one's really a distributor here. All you are is a consumer, and you're getting paid to consume and to share the, share the product with somebody else. So that's where, whether you want to be part-time or full-time, you know, uh, even someone that's not the sharpest tool in the shed like me can go like this. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> the I, easily, e most easily demonstrable product uh, ever. You can't get any easier. Yeah. So really, that's really the, it's a no-brainer. Plus, you don't have to have, a, you know, you don't have like 100 products in your line. So you're not fielding, a, you know, 10 questions from one person. Here's, the, here's how hard it is here. Get it ice cold and open it and drink it. And you in about 20 minutes, someone's calling you and saying, whatever that was, um, you know, I want more of it. And, you know, in my 22 year history, you know, center of influence has always been, you know, part of the backbone of the, of this industry, right? We always talk about, you know, get the, get samples out to your friends and family. And, you know, it's, I've never had traction with center of influence. So we've always done it. We've always taught it, but it's never been, but maybe 5% of my business, you know, and it's just in the short period of just being here, um, everyone's sampling verve, the, the explosion of how many cases just by people handing samples of it, it's mind blowing. And you know, I built my entire business online. I have an online uh, approach where, you know, our guys work 100% online and everything we do is, is through the internet. And so now when we sign somebody up as a brand partner through the internet, now they can go take the products and sample everybody they know because they're not going to feel weird about doing it. They're going to want to do it. Yeah. It's, you know? a, it's amazing on how when you invite some people over to your house and you break out the verb, how fast yeah. it goes. And here's the best news, Anthony. Our biggest verb product hasn't even been released yet. It's going to be coming off the line this Monday. Um, you need to come down and check it out, but because it, yeah. it comes off the line at 32 degrees, so it's you know That's better cool. than that Coors Light commercial. Well, you you know I do have to tell you when uh, I came in here one day and he had a little dinky cup of it. Sample, yeah. Uh, he was sampling me. Let me tell you guys something. If there was ever a product to go out there and purchase, the minute you see this go on the website, listen. Here's what you need to do. You need to click the order button for yourself. You need to get everybody in your organization to get one or two cases. Because what I know about this product, because I've tasted it is it is gonna absolutely go on back order within minutes. So don't be the person that's sitting there going, I'm gonna think about it or, or see what my friend thinks. You need to get as much of it on hand as you possibly can because you need to drink it, and then two, you need to sample it so that it explodes your business even more. Absolutely, we got the verb line, we got the body line, and, uh, and most importantly, we got you. Team, Here that is it for this week's uh, video blog. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for all you're doing, and thank you. You know, we're coming out of 2013 with record daily sales, daily recruiting numbers that are records, and it's all because of the efforts that you put in. So I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Anthony, thank you for choosing us, man. Likewise. All right. Well, I will work hard to make sure this is the best decision you've ever made in your life. <laughs> and I will work hard to make sure this is the best decision you've ever made in your life. Team, that's it. Keep up the great work. I'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.